Here we have one person. Here we have hardcore, the most difficult mode. Hmm, I'm gonna solo it. Without a strategy. Am I gonna regret this? Yes, let's go. Okay, so solo only allows 40 towers. So with the final boss Void Reaver having 1.2 million HP, that's kinda rough. So choosing towers wisely is kinda a given. For my first attempt, I chose Accelerator, Engineer, and Ace Pilot for damage. As for support, I had to choose between DJ and Commander, but as Commander gives more DPS, I tried it first. I actually tried it every game, but yeah. As for economy, there's basically only farm and cowboy, so I tried cowboy since I'll need all the damage I can get. Lastly, map. I saw the purple one being used for this, but I figured Crossroads was a decent choice. Attempt 1 had a decent start with cowboy spam to get my economy going. Cowboy has it in detection on level 3, so that was my plan to counter hidden enemies. The first waves went by without a hitch. No problems at all. Finally, the hidden wave arrived, and went decent enough with only a single leak. But one problem was the balloons on the next wave. I had a level 2 ace pilot ready, but sometimes you can get really unlucky with the timing. Sure enough, it went by smoothly, but then everything changed when the fire and <clears throat> hidden army attacked. I only had one tower to deal with them, so yeah, I was a goner. So, so my morale is pretty decent at this stage, but soon, soon things will be changing. Attempt 2, I opted to get Engineer instead of Ace Pilot. This is because it can shoot Flying, Hidden, and even Lead on level 2. My start was the same until wave 11, where I placed Engineer and got it to level 2. Things look sketchy, so I placed an Ace Pilot down as well. This time the hidden wave leaked a bit, but it was fine. I continued placing cowboys to increase my economy, as the waves were fairly easy. My engineer and ace pilot were just clapping leads, and things were going way better. But then the breakers came. I kinda underestimated them, and ended up having to place two cowboys at the end of the path. I then somehow made it out with 9 HP. I finally got the accelerator up, which I later realized was placed poorly, but it was time for the slow boss on wave 19. It slowly made its way through, but I placed the commander for some extra damage. Honestly should have skipped the wave sooner for the wave cache, but I learned my lesson on the next try. One hour later. Luckily though, I finished the boss right before it went out of range, like pixels or like. But yeah, everything was chill until about wave 23 when the shadow boss showed up. It got pretty far, but I had just enough to upgrade my accelerator and stop it. Wave 24 was just as bad, I almost lost to a slow boss, but yeah, we don't we don't talk about that. Next, wave 25. Three shadow bosses, three words. I am dead. Barely any of my towers had hidden detection and the accelerator placement really came to haunt me. I could only get one before I got collapsed. Okay, so so I've been improving with each attempt, right? So my morale was still solid. But now. Now is where things take a turn. Attempt 3, I replaced Ace Pilot with DJ. Going in, everything was going according to plan. But then the balloon wave came, and I figured one engineer was enough. Yeah, no, it was not enough. Though my morale took a minor hit, it, it was fine for the most part. Attempt 4, I, I lost to FT zombies? I, I still don't know how, don't, don't ask me. Attempt 5, I tried Wreck Battlefield for some fresh air. And I got it in the form of balloons. Not fun. Not fun. Attempt 6, I had 10 HP left. And guess what HP the singular lead zombie had when it got through. Yep, 10 HP. That one hit hard, man. Attempt 7, I actually got some progress. I managed to use both Commander and DJ. And I'm not gonna lie, the DJ music kinda hyped me up. But then the shadow bosses walk all over my hope. Attempt 8, I tried purple guy map, and I lost early to hidden zombies on wave 12. Attempt 9, I somehow thought retrying was a good idea, and managed to lose two balloons on wave 14. Yeah, never again. After five more unsuccessful attempts, I was experiencing EMOTIONAL DAMAGE, resulting in my morale being in shambles. My gems were going up as much as my mental state was going down. After taking a break watching YouTube, I came back motivated with a new loadout, Farm and Golden Soldier. 
Going into attempt 15, I was struggling to find a good balance between farming and defending, but somehow it all just worked out. The income from farm was way better than cowboys, making getting a strong defense a lot easier. Barely any zombies made it all the way through, but then wave 25 showed up. Honestly, I had high hopes with most of my towers having hidden detection this time. I got two, but in the end one barely scraped through with 100 HP, which was pretty unlucky. Honestly though, for a first try of this loadout, that went surprisingly well, so if anything, I was more motivated. Attempt 16, symptoms of mental exhaustion were showing. I did not get enough engineer up to help with the leads and balloons, so I got rushed by both. Years passed me's words on the challenge so far. You know, I think I've like done this like 40 times already. It's like been six hours maybe. I, I, I'm breathing crossroads, dude. It's in my lungs, and I want it out. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, see you later, future me. Attempt 18. I finally got a breakthrough. On wave 25, I managed to beat the shadow bosses quite easily with the call to arms buff, which felt great. I upgraded the rest of my farms and started concentrating on strengthening my defense. The fallen rushers gave me a mini heart attack, but it was fine, it was fine. The rest of the waves went by smoothly until wave 31, when a fallen titan spawned. Call to arms however, made fairly quick work of it. Wave 33 was also challenging, where a Fallen Titan and Pink Breakers got quite far. Wave 36, it was time for the first boss, Gravedigger. As a first time solo, I was stressing out, and for good reason, as I had a close call with a Fallen Titan and also with the boss, so I ended up having to play a bad accelerator just in case. After that, everything was moving swimmingly, until Wave 39, where I faced my biggest enemy, Lead Balloons. There were like 8 of them and I could only get like 2 because only my engineer could shoot them because I forgot they existed. So that ended up being kind of a bittersweet loss. On attempt 19 I improved my efficiency and got farms upgraded way sooner and got multiple engineers to level 4. But again I met my end to the same lead balloons. Attempt 20 I was getting tilted and went full in with getting multiple maxed engineers, resulting in me having barely any accelerators, but it paid off. Or so I thought. Wave 44 started and things seemed fine until I saw the circuit. They were going so fast like, what was I supposed to do? They were like, there's no way to beat it with only engineers, right? To say the least, my morale was in a rough state. Though I tried using Electroshocker, but my early attempts were a clear sign to avoid it. I then tried Pursuit, and it was a way better fit. At 10.25, I did my first test run with Pursuit, and lost to Wave 32, which was pretty decent. At 10.26 showed clear signs of improvement, with me barely showing any signs of struggling up to Wave 39. I spammed 10 Pursuits because I was really not in the mood to lose to Lead Balloons this time. And it paid off. This continued until wave 43, where pursuit speed showed its flaws, with the zombies just like double your king because they couldn't catch up. No words are needed to express my emotions at this time. Just, just look at my avatar. Just, just, just. After eight more attempts, I was down bad. But then I heard the line. Never back down. Never give up. And my morale was restored. Attempt 35. I was cruising until wave 43. This time I made quick work of circuit with a good balance between accelerator and pursuit. The molten boss then spawned on wave 44, which was ironically still easier than graveyard in hardcore as well, as gravedigger ended up going 3 times as far. Wave 45 things got sketchy as the circuit was getting pretty far speeding up the souls which were already a fast enemy as is. Wave 46 went fairly decently, although a new enemy in necromancer boss showed up. It was quite underwhelming, with it being obliterated in a few seconds, but hey, free money. Next was wave 47, where the fallen swordmaster boss would be appearing. Despite being quite powerful looking, the wave went by smoothly, with the boss only managing to make it a bit more than halfway through, before being defeated. At this stage I was getting close to maxing all my towers, which felt great. The next boss would be Fallen King on wave 48. 
I was basically maxed on all my DPS towers, so now I was starting to spam golden soldiers during the fight. The Falling King was getting quite close, which was quite scary, but all was well when Fan got defeated at the end. Wave 49, I sold my farms to make space for more golden soldiers, as I was good on money. During the wave, unknowns and a vindicator spawned. The unknowns are quite harmless, although one problem is the stun spam if you don't finish them quickly enough. My towers were getting stunned, but I managed to take down the vindicator in time. Finally, wave 50 arrived, and I was fully maxed out with 40 towers. I was full on sweat mode by making sure there were no gaps between call of arms on the commander. Things were looking good at the start, until Void Reaver spawned. I quickly got overrun by the Void Reaver souls, but somehow I won anyway. We're so close to catching up on our lead in subscribers, come on guys, we can do it. If you want me to try beating Void Reaver again, make sure to like, cause I'm not putting myself through this pain ever again, unless we get like 1k likes or something. See you on the next one.